My name is Kara, and I want to tell you guys about a book I just finished reading called Skeleton Creek by Patrick Carmen. Now, you may have heard of Patrick Carmen. He also wrote 13 Days Till Midnight, and he also is one of the authors of the 39 Clues series, so that's pretty cool. But this book, Skeleton Creek, is actually the first book in a series called Skeleton Creek, and um, this book is actually probably one of the most creative books I've ever read. Um, I really like it because it's written in journal form, and so it's all written almost kind of in like his handwriting, and it has different entries, so each chapter is a different entry. Um, but I also really like this book because it, it has pages like this, and so it gives you a website and a password, and so when you get to this page, you type the website in, and you type the password in, and a video will appear that corresponds with what you're reading in the chapter. So, and you have to watch them because they give you more information, and if you don't watch them, you'll be confused. So you really have to watch them. So I just thought that was really interesting. But this book is about Ryan, who, um, in the very first page, you find out that he has got some sort of injury from an accident that he's not really sure of, and he's kind of scared to even think about, but he knows that he needs to write it all down in order to help himself process things. So this is his journal, and so you get to listen to him process all of this information and try and figure out what happened that night at the dredge. And so um, it's just kind of his thoughts and whatnot. Well, he really wants to talk to his friend Sarah, who was also there that night at the dredge, but his parents decide to cut off all forms of communication, and so he and Sarah have to secretly contact each other through the videos that you get to watch and through emails, just because they don't want him contacting, because the accent is very weird, they weren't supposed to be down there, and so he and Sarah are trying to figure out exactly what happened, because they're not sure what happened that night either. So, they get into looking about things, and um, they end up researching part of, like, the town's name, which is called Skeleton Creek, and they keep finding all these strange things, and they have this little hinting that someone else was there that night at the dredge. Well, in their research, they find out, let, find these legends about one of the characters, Joe Clark, and how Joe Clark might have a ghost, and so now they're kind of thinking, well, what if these legends are true and well if they are true what does that mean that could have happened that night at the dredge so if you want to find out what happened that night at the dredge read skeleton creek by patrick carmen